Hello friends, this is NodeChat application tutorial series with MongoDB database. And in this part, we will cover backend code for fetch connected chat user data from MongoDB database and display on web page. In previous part, we have already covered front end code for display connected user on web page under this chat application. Now for backend code for fetch connected user data, so we have goes to server.js file and goes into load connected user routes and here first we have to write constant user id variable is equal to request.body.userid variable so here login user id data we have store under this local variable now we want to define search query like login user id must be present in chat request sender id or chat request receiver user id and chat request status must be accepted so this search query we have to define so here we have to write constant query variable is equal to javascript object and under this we have to write dollar operator which will add and condition under search query and in first and condition we have to write dollar or operator which will add or condition under this search query and in first key we have to write chat request sender id with value dollar user id variable and in second key we have to write chat request receiver id with value like dollar user id variable So it will add condition like chat request sender ID is equal to value of user ID variable or chat request receiver ID is equal to value of user ID variable. And in second and condition, we have to write chat request status in key and in value, we have to write accepted. So this whole condition will make search query like this. Now we want to execute this query, so here, we have to write, constant chat request result variable is equal to, await keyword, with chat request model dot find function, with query variable as argument. So it will fetch data from chat request collection, based on this search query. Now we want to check. Data has been fetched from database or not, so here, we have to write if statement, and under condition, we have to write chat request result variable dot length value is greater than zero. If this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. And under this, we want to check like, do not add login user data under this connected user data. So here, we have to write, constant promises variable is equal to, chat request result variable dot map function, and under this function, we have to write, chat request variable, with arrow operator, with callback function. Under this function, we have to write, other user id variable, with blank value, and under this, we will store other user id data. Now we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, chat request dot, chat request sender id variable value is not equal to, value of user id variable value. If login user id value is not match with chat request sender id, then it will execute, if block of code. And here, we have to write, other user id variable is equal to, chat request dot chat request sender id after this we want to check with chat request receiver id so here we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write chat request dot chat request receiver id value is not equal to user id variable value so this condition will check if login user id is not match with chat request receiver id 
then it will execute if block of code. And here, we have to write other user ID variable is equal to chat request dot chat request receiver ID. After getting user ID, now we want to get that user data, so here, we have to write return statement with get user data function with other user ID variable as argument. So this function will return user data based on value of other user ID variable value. So on every loop, it will store data under promises variable. After this, we want to get data from promises variable. So here, we have to write constant user data array variable is equal to await keyword with promise dot all function. And under argument, we have to write promises variable, so it will store chat request user data under this user data array variable. Now we want to fetch data from user data array variable and store under this connected user data variable. So here, we have to write user data array variable dot for each loop and under condition. We have to write callback function with user data variable as argument. Under this loop, we have to create one user data object variable is equal to JavaScript object. And under this, in first key, we have to write ID and in value, we have to write user data dot ID variable. In second key, we have to write first name and in value, we have to write user data dot first name variable. In third key, we have to write last name and in value, we have to write user data dot last name variable. In fourth key, we have to write image and in value, we have to write user data dot image variable. So here, we have store user data under this user data object variable now we want to store this data under this connected user data variable so here we have to write connected user data variable dot push function and under argument we have to write user data object so it will store user data object data under this connected user data variable and on every loop it will store data under this connected user data variable and then after this data will be sent to client which will display under connected user data area so here our code is ready and now we have goes to terminal window and here we have run node server dot js command which will start node development server So friends, here we can see chat application index page and here we can see login page. Now we have enter login details of user and then after we have click on login button. So here we have login into chat application and here on web page we can see that connected user area has been displayed on web page and under this area we can see that Connected user data has been displayed and this are those user whose chat request has been accepted. And here we can also see start chat button also. So by click on this button we can start chat with that user. So in this part we have covered back end code for display connected user data on web page under this chat application. In next part we will show you when login user has click on any connected chat user, then chat window must be open on web page, under this chat application, so we will be meet in next part.